Hi, this is Matt from Retronyms. Here's a quick demo showing how to create a MID file out of audio on your computer for use in Tabletop's Gridlock touchpad sampler. MID files in Gridlock play back as phrases rather than isolated sounds like a WAV file. This can give you an added layer of flexibility because not only do the phrases continuously loop in hold mode, but they'll also stay in time with your global tempo if you speed it up or slow it down. And changing the pitch of the pad will affect the sound of the loop, but allow it to still sync up with your sequencing. There are four main steps to this process. The first is isolating the audio you want as a loop. Then you need to slice it up, export it, and finally transfer it to tabletop. In terms of the first step, we just want to isolate some audio. So I have an MP3 open right now. And what I have set up already, just for a little bit of saving time, is to have a, uh, a segment of it looping and just the first two bars of the very common breakbeat sort of sound. <laughs> So what I want to do is select my loop. I'm going to crop that down. And then I'm going to save it. I want to save it as a WAV file. And I'm just going to call this breakbeat loop. The second step, slicing it up, I'm going to use Recycle, uh, an application made by Propellerhead. Recycle basically allows me to draw in different slice points, which are each considered a little bit of a trigger that tie into the overall length of your segment of audio. So I can go ahead and I know that this is two bars, so I'm going to say two bars, and I'm going to bump the sensitivity up in Recycle, which will automatically draw in slice points based on the peaks and valleys of the waveform. If I wanted to be more precise or uh, more customizing in terms of how the slices work. I could go in and draw them manually, um, but for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to let Recycle do the job for us. So I'm going to go here and I want to export from the file menu. Um, and even though I'm going to be creating a MID file, uh, I don't want to use standard MIDI file. I want to drag down and select WAV file. This may be a little misleading at first because the implication is that you're going to be creating a sing singular WAV file. Uh, you're actually going to be creating a batch of WAV files, and that batch is going to consist of one WAV file for each slice horizontally across your waveform. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add slice to the end of my WAV name. If I don't change the name, it'll prompt me to overwrite it, and that's not what I want to do. Uh, it's a little misleading again. So if I hit save, I'll be, get a uh, dialog of export settings, and the first thing I want to make sure is that export MIDI file with same name is toggled on. Uh, that'll create the MID file that references all of these individual WAV files. And that's really the key to making it work smoothly in gridlock as a phrase. So hit export and go to my desktop. I have all of the WAV files as well as a MIDI file. So the next step is to get it into tabletop using iTunes file transfer. If I make sure that my iPad's connected, Select it under Devices, and then go to the Apps tab. I'll get a listing of all the apps that are compatible in terms of file sharing. If I scroll down to the bottom and select Tabletop, you'll notice I have a handful of documents in here already. And these are samples that I've manually loaded into Tabletop previously. But I want to add some new ones, namely all of the slices as well as the mid file. So if I'm in the folder where I added all of these things, I just go ahead and shift click and select all of them. Uh, notice that I'm not going to select the initial WAV file because that doesn't contain any of the reference points to slicing. So I just want the MIDI file and all of the numbered off slices. So if I choose those, they'll all pop up in my tabletop documents and my iPad will begin to synchronize and copy all the, the files over to tabletop for use with the gridlock. So here we are, back in Tabletop, looking at the gridlock, and what I want to do is get that MIDI phrase that I just created loaded into the first pad. So I'm going to go under my pad controls, tap the load button, I'm going to back out of the current directory, and I'm going to select My Sounds. Under My Sounds, you'll see everything that you've added through iTunes file sharing. Uh, and that'll also include anything that you've added via the recorder within the app itself. Um, so you can see all of my breakbeat loop slices are in here. Uh, but instead of selecting a particular slice, which is also an option, 
I'm going to go ahead and just choose breakbeat loop slice, and that's the actual mid file. That's the, the file that's going to trigger all of those individual slices as a phrase. So if I tap the pad, I should hear the whole thing loop. Not too bad. It's a little chunky because of the uh, tempo difference. Right now I'm running at 120 by default, and that loop was something much closer to 170. So if I go ahead and I accelerate the tempo, you'll notice that the phrase will sync up with the new tempo change. Get it even closer up to the proper tempo of the original. And the handy thing about using MIDI phrases is you can change the pitch, change the tempo, everything will sync up. So if I want to change the pitch on the fly, And likewise, if I slow things way down, I get a nice sort of like chuggy groove out of it by changing, changing the pitch and letting it run at a much slower speed. So there you have it. That's how you create a MIDI file on your desktop and get it into tabletop. Hope you guys have fun.